another video another day where horses are all in this is the realistic afternoon in the life of an equestrian in the UK right now horses don't want to be out don't want to be in this rain just keeps on coming the weather is just not getting any better at all we don't know what to do for right or wrong anymore this winter has been long and hard for every single one of us so all horses are currently in at the moment this afternoon they went out this morning when I mucked out but they were only out hour hour and a half but none of them moved away from the gateway anymore there's it's just sloppy mud they don't want to be out there there's no grass um so i just turn them out to stretch their legs but is it really benefiting them at all to be fair anymore because it's just far too wet of course i've got the risk of him slipping and hurting his suspensory hello gorgeous you don't mind being in do you because he's done his suspensory in the past, so I don't want him to slip and hurt that again. Gambler has scabby heels. What are you doing? Um, yeah, Gambler has scabby heels now because the ground is just so wet. And Donut has got sore frogs. So, because again, it's just so wet. His frogs are just so soft. So it's not benefiting them at all being out but of course I don't like horses in 24 sevens yeah I, I actually are you licking my hand I actually don't know what to do for the best anymore I've I've given up never in 20 odd years of doing horses have I wanted to give up horses as much as I have threatened this winter um it's been a nightmare. It's long. We've not had a proper cold frost at all all winter. Autumn, winter, we're now in spring. All it is doing is raining. It's really quite warm. It's deceiving because don't lick the door. Um it's like 14, 15 degrees. It's warm, but it's wet. No field has dried out at all since probably August last year. I don't know how much you can see through the camera, but Willow's going through what I call his mouldy stage, where he's got such dark fur underneath because he goes proper dark, dark golden. It's not gold. He's more like a liver chestnut when he has his summer coat. But it's so dark underneath, with the light hairs on top, he actually looks mouldy. It's awful. Yeah, all life consists of the last few days. Because I'm going out for an hour in the morning. Coming in. They're happy blurry, they eat their hay, they're not too fast. Donut gets a bit spritey, but then hour out again, he's absolutely fine. Not doing much, which really not happy with. I've never had a year as bad as this because we haven't got much space here, so I can't even take them for a walk because we've got fields. All we've got is a trackway that we drive up and down, which I will ride him up and down in a minute. It's not ideal, but it's it's all I've got. I can't take them out hacking because we have to cross that main road and it's just not safe to do um so that is my only option stretch his legs but 
I did buy him a new bridle the other week. Um, I had a tax shopping haul video go up. We bought him a new bridle the other week so he doesn't keep having to be ridden in his show bridle. So I'm going to put the new bridle on him today and whenever I do anything new I like to take them for a walk in it anyway. So it doesn't matter that we're only walking him today because I want him to get used to that bridle, see what we think of it anyway. So that's all right but it's this is the downside to having your own yard the downside to not having a school we've got the bark chip arena but we always knew it was never going to be perfect but it's just torrential rain it's like a swamp out there um so that's no good that's not useful fields far too slippy can't do anything in them so yeah this is the reality of every equestrian in the UK right now that hasn't got a school. Um, although there's an arena that we usually hire as well that we can go to, which is absolutely flooded. I've never known it flood before, and um, now that's flooded. Um, of course, we've got the option of indoor arenas, but the indoor arena that is just up the road from here is £60 an hour. I can't justify that, I really can't. So it's hard, it's disheartening. It is, it's now the beginning of April. Shows have started, no one's fit, no one's ready. I can't do anything with them. Um, not do. Um, this is the downside to horses in such an extreme wet winter. But yeah. I'm just gonna brush him off and then we will take him for a walk and see what I think of this new bridle. this vlog is just a chatty rant about the horses but I love the horses I wouldn't change them for the world um, but yeah it's just been hard it's just draining isn't it um, the weather don't mind the winter I really don't mind the cold um, but we haven't had a cold spell at all this winter I think we had one week of frosts, but they weren't even hard frosts. We've had no struggle with getting water this year because, of course, we get the water from the next door neighbour's garden. So it comes up here through a hose. Usually in the winter that will freeze. Haven't had that problem this year. Which, when you have some really cold, frosty spells, it makes... Life a little bit easier in some ways because of course the ground is hard for them to go out. So if they go out and stretch their legs, they're not churning it up to mud. Um, but it's just relentless. I went out in the front field the other day because of course this, we only rent this yard. We haven't got big tractors or anything. So I went out here the other day with the handheld garden roller to roll the gateway so that hopefully it will dry out because down the bottom is not too wet it is just mud everywhere in the gateway so I went out with a roller the other day to try and get that to dry up harden up so then we could get the dumper it's old it's not pretty I can't start it but 
it does the job on harrowing and rolling the fields. Um, so yeah, so I was trying to flatten the gateway so it would harden up so we could get that out there and harrow the bottom of the fields. But look, I can't. That's far too heavy. It would just get stuck in the gateway. Um, so yeah, can't do anything. Can't roll the fields. This field is absolutely ruined. How we're going to repair them to have grass for spring I have no idea um, we're right by the river so come spring summer the grass gets so lush anyway and just continues to grow all summer that I actually don't want too much grass so the fields aren't rested for too long anyway enough to repair a, pat a bit but not too long because I don't want big I don't want lots of fresh grass because of course all my horses are far too fat yes you um and i don't want to risk them getting laminitis anyway but i want them to have some grass come spring but yeah so i'm at loss so i don't know what to do but yeah i'm just gonna tap willow up now at least take him for a walk down there try this bridle give him a leg stretch um so he can see something else other than his stable for the afternoon. But yeah, I, I'm going to quickly actually do his stable first. Of course, I've been in all day. So just going to skip them out, redo hay nets and waters, and then we tack him up and we're taking for a walk. you eat leatherwork. No, no, no. Try and get this on you without you eating any of it. Boy. I'll get your earrings one hand. No. Still gonna have teeth marking it within a week. Yeah, riding up and down this trackway is not ideal at all, but all we can do is work with what we've got, isn't it? So, so I just want to give him a leg stretch anyway and try this bridle. He hasn't been ridden in just a snackle bridle for months. Went hacking, he bent down and broke the bridle. Um, it was an old bridle anyway. But so yeah, so I've only just sort of remembered to go shopping and actually buy it because I was just using his show bridle but he's absolutely fine in a snapple bridle he's not come around good boy he's not strong at all he doesn't need the pelham but I'm afraid for the level shows he does he should really be worn he's just ridden off the snapple rain though um but yeah he's not a problem but yeah I've had to put my coat on this weather just doesn't know what to do because I'm absolutely sweating. This is a no-fill jacket, and I think that's the worst one, isn't it? Because it just makes you hot and sweaty. It's still, it's really quite warm, but it's just starting to stick with rain yet again. Um, so yeah, so I'm quickly gonna give him 20 minutes, 25 minutes, walk, stretch his legs, don't scoop, and um, yeah, then we get on with skipping out the others. Lewis is up there good boy come around um yeah he's up there he's just pulled gambler out he's gonna brush gambler off um but yeah that's uh what we do on a wet miserable afternoon um not not much else i can do but yeah yeah let's go on with riding this one good boy is 
still some positives. Look at that cloud. Um, yeah, it's nearly six o'clock and we can still see, but I think that's what makes it feel worse, isn't it? That the days feel longer, so we're out doing stuff more, but where it's raining so much, we feel like it's just never ending rain because we're out in it for longer periods of time. But yeah, the joys of horses in the winter in the UK. Um, yeah, it's been hard. I've considered, you know, options. Do I send Willow for school in livery? One less to deal with through the winter, but no, I wouldn't have it any other way.